Hello, my name is Christoph Kieselbach from Shark and Partner, and in the framework of the Interact Northwest Europe Blockstar project, I'm glad to present the free training that my company offers to SMEs interested in the blockchain technology. We are a company specializing in regulatory affairs and quality management systems for medical devices. So our trainings do not concentrate on the blockchain technology in itself, but will cover the regulatory requirements if you want to place your device on the market as a medical device in Europe, which is a possible outcome if you are working with blockchain technology in the context of medical devices. Um, the third workshop we offer is about medical device design and development processes. And this workshop will convey legal and regulatory requirements for the design and development process, um, taking into account the requirement of the European Medical Device Regulation 2017-745 and the um, standard EN ISO 13485. The implementation will be discussed uh, using the concrete procedure for a design and development project with all its phases and the required documentation. We will include aspects of software like lifecycle according to EN 62304, the risk management according to EN ISO 4971, and the usability according to EN 62366. So this course basically will cover, uh, in short, the legal and regulatory requirements for design and development, the design and development process and its phases, the documentation requirements, the software lifecycle, the risk analysis and usability as part of the design and development process, as well as design validation and clinical evaluation. And um, in the last part, we will also cover change management as you are required not only to develop and design your device, but also to maintain its status throughout the lifetime of the device. So this course would be of interest for anyone who wants to place software as a medical device on the European market containing blockchain technology and requiring assistance with the requirements on the regulatory side for the design and development procedures that are needed to comply with the respective regulatory requirements.